when ants come along a, a piece of food that's too big for them to move, what do they uh, what do they do? They they recruit other members of the uh, of the community. Well, these cells do the same thing. If we inject uh, a few cells, they can tell there's not enough of them to build an eye. So what do they do? They recruit a bunch of cells from the environment that we did not inject at all. So so there's the ability for the material to scale itself to the um, available uh, to the to the to the message that uh, that they receive. And just to point out, if anybody's interested in in plants. Um, this is this is another great example of um, the plasticity of life. You you might think that the um, the oak genome encodes for this shape because this is what you see most of the time. These acorns give rise to exactly this shape, this flat green thing. But along comes this um, non-human bioengineer, uh, this wasp, which is a parasite, which puts down some signals for the plant cells and it hacks them. It hacks the morphogenesis exactly the way that that I've been showing you that we can hack. Um, uh, the morphogenetic outcomes in animals, and it causes these these plant cells to build this incredible spiky round thing, or even or even this stuff. So these are these are galls, and we would have had no idea what these cells are capable of if we didn't see this this amazing example of 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 a bioprompting or or reprogrammability. 